Yeah, so, I mean, it all started with Jerry watching a movie called Blood Freak, right? Yeah. Um, uh, Blood Freak made in 1972 about uh, um, this, this, this biker guy who uh, who ate who needed a job and ate some, uh, like, drug turkey and, uh, later became a, a turkey man. Yeah, could that you just imagine to, that? To go around, uh, gobbling up people. <laughs> it's frightening. <laughs> and, um, I just thought it was funny and unique, and I wanted to make a funny, unique video like that. And me and Mike had wanted to make a movie. Uh, we always like making movies. Well, we did it a lot before, but we wanted to make like a whole big movie, like a big production right, type right. movie. Right, right. And you had he had the mask at home. He had the that flesh freak mask already there, and um, it was it was like a like a dinosaur mask, and um, that you got like for Halloween of like a long time ago. Yeah. And um, you, he was just like, you know, I've got this mask, and you know, I watched this movie called Blood Freak, so let's make um, a flesh freak. And I'm like, which was uh, basically the same kind of plot except with a gator mask. And I made <coughs> these paper claws, which I colored in green for the for the costume too. Uh -huh. That flesh freak likes to we slash look for, people and stab people. <laughs> we looked for some gloves at first to kind of go along with it. We couldn't find those for the longest time because we did it like. In the summertime, we started making it um, like the beginning of September, and we finished it by the end of October because we had the the deadline to to do it by for, uh, Halloween. for Halloween, and we stuck to it and we made it and it came out online October thirty first like at eight o'clock at night, but it was there it was finished and it was glorious, which was a surprise to a lot of people. We actually made it for right for Halloween. Just kind of jumped up there online. And so, yeah, we're doing the DVD now because, you know, um, why not? You know, we got to have something to to show for our, our hard work. So we thought, well, we are make a little bit of money, $5 or $2 if you're in it. And if you're watching this, that means that you probably bought it on DVD already. But tell your friends and buy it again. <laughs> Buy it a second time. Buy it a third time. <coughs> Buy it for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. Or donate a dollar or two so that we can we'll get take some, a dollar. We'll get take some ten produc dollars. production value so we can make better videos like this one. Right. So those like your ideas you too. Yeah. Well, we actually made it because... Well, like you said before, we always wanted to do something. We've been dying to make videos. I love to do it. Dying to make a video about, <laughs> about dying. dying. About people dying. <laughs> yeah, so we're, <coughs> we were bored to death. So we're dying to make a video about dying, about people. Or about just anything. About anything, liked. yeah. And it doesn't have to be about death. If people assume that we just love death, that's not the case. We love making videos. Well, that, that might be me. That might but, be him. <laughs> but it may not be the whole Super Hive crew. But, um, but yeah, so we wanted to do something, and um, we thought this was a pretty good starting off idea. And when we first started, I thought it would be about like 5 minutes, 7 minutes, 18 minutes it ended up being, well, 19 minutes actually. We just did it because we like, we love cinematography, and I love horror, and mm -hmm. we both love comedy. <laughs> yep. And we, we just did it just for something fun to do. And, Put those things together. And, and we'd always like to make it better, but... What would make it better is if we had some production <laughs> value. <laughs> we can't emphasize that enough. Mm. Um, my favorite part, um, I'm probably impartial because I'm uh, Richard Dennison and Flesh Freak, but uh, is the Flesh Feast scene. It's also because I actually, well, you know, I, I was, task. that was, that was like, a scene I did all by myself mm -hmm. when we just filled up that leg with newspapers and then we took the the little the foot and the brains and the, and the mask the that we had and, and squirted ketchup all mm -hmm. over it and I uh, ate all those some, pieces and I like to see I like to there. see myself eating someone's brain and someone's heart because I I guess I'm just sick like that ain't <laughs> nothing wrong with that um my favorite part is well I guess I'm partial or maybe impartial or whatever uh to dr schwelling 
because obviously I'm him. I'm almost. I'm also. Yeah, he's, the, he's very. He's a very funny, shady kind of yeah. scientist, mad scientist. He's guy. a scientist. He's a doctor. He probably is a dentist who. He probably isn't to real estate, and he probably will rip you off on the street. He'll do whatever it takes. He's also very to shady. To get ahead in life. <laughs> he has a whole story. So if you want to see the Dr. Schwelling story, just donate 5 to $10 to us right now. Right. And, and we'll make it. And, you know, we'll yeah, take we it down, too. if we get some production, we'll definitely do a Dr. Schwelling video like some people have been wanting to see. Yeah, and, you know, and if you want to help out, yeah, you can sign up on our website. Um, or just check us out on Facebook. We're there, too. Yeah. And we just went to the park one day, like, hey, let's go to the park, shoot some stuff, see how it pans out. That was a that's kind of a funny day though. That's when uh, you know Jerry met my friend Chris for the first time because I locked my keys inside my car. <laughs> Chris had to come bail me out. And then we all went out for ice cream. So uh, <laughs> so that was funny. And then on um, it was the first day of shooting the freak. <laughs> yeah. And then we went and. Um, I came over and we had such an another ordeal. It's like everything is an ordeal, but then like your friends um, Al and Alicia came over um, mm -hmm. to your house, but they were late. Like we didn't even think they're coming over, and yeah, it took I them. I had to equip them with all the cost, like the yeah. They didn't want to get dirty. They needed to get all bloody, so that Al could be beheaded <laughs> in that scene. And then um, we're outside trying to get the fire to light. We're throwing like boxes on top of it, we're throwing all sorts of stuff on top of the fire pit. Yeah, there was, a, there was a bunch of stuff that we uh, envisioned a lot differently than how it actually came out. Like, uh, see, the scene with Kaylee and the scene with Al and Alicia, and things were getting mm -hmm. too dark. Lighting problems, oh, problems yeah. of like every kind and sort that, you know, if we had, uh, you know, more like money or more props or whatever. Yeah, more time, or, more people, more willing people. We definitely it would have looked a lot better, but I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty, I'm proud. pretty impressed and proud yeah. of how it came out. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. From, I am. from basically coming out of nothing, out of thin air. Right. We turned nothing into something. It may not be the best something, but it's something. It could be better something if we had some more monies. But <laughs> uh, but yeah. So after that, fired, <laughs> and so we couldn't do it. But I mean, <coughs> that's. That's okay. Well, we managed to get well, like two hours worth of stuff later. Yeah, we managed later, yeah. So that's the thing. Sometimes you just have to go with it. So that's why on online it's like, the mayor, Secret Edmire, cannot be here today, blah, 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 blah. So we're, that's like our plan B. But our plan A was to actually have him be interviewed, which he is, and it's on this DVD. <laughs> Special grotesque goodies for everyone who actually bought it. For the very humble price of five dollars. Only five dollars, and it goes a long way. It can help us like buy props. Uh, it'll help in travel expenses if we ever have to travel. It will help us. Um, it will just help us buy more equipment, buy like microphones and lighting and stuff. So yeah, even if we have to shoot at midnight, buy, in a supplies, barn, buy supplies like we need for like right. ke ketchup, ketchup or uh, different blood. costumes and shirts yeah, and uh, feathers, whatever. Whatever we might, whatever we might need, and it'll go all towards filming. It's not like, like it's we're gonna be rolling around a brand new Bentley with your money, or not. <laughs> <laughs> be nice if we got that much money. We put it all towards film equipment. We're not be rolling. <laughs> okay, um, so I should probably talk about, um. Super Hive, real quick. Uh, well, we thought, well, we have this movie. We're it's, we're trying to be legit about it, and so we need like a whole production company to take care of it. We need a name, so that's basically what a production company is. It's a name. And I struggled with the name. I'm like, what's a good name? New Basement Productions. What's some other ones that you're thinking? Of? I was thinking of like uh, B and W. B and W, because that's like our last name it together. Was Barnard, Bar Bernard and Wilson, but. Uh, he thought it was saying like black and white, white or something. Yeah, the so, was like black and white. And then if you flip it around, that'd be WB. That's already taken. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and we had like other ones. Like other, I wrote down like a whole list, like fifty of them. But for some reason, I was thinking, well, 
recently, for the last year or so, people have been calling me Mikey B because that's my last name, B. But they've been, some people write it B-E-E, -E, like a bee, like a buzzy bee. I'm like, well, where do bees live? They live in a hive. So, a hive is like a collection of hardworking people. That's kind of like what we are and our friends. And if you want to be part of the Super Hive crew, you know, go ahead, you know, sign up on the website, sign up on Facebook. You don't even have to pay us money, but if you want to donate to the cause, that's fine too. Um, and then, so, but yeah, then the super part of it is pretty much just like, you know, because we're super and it's like Super <laughs> Nintendo and, you know, it's kind of like a throwback to that super stuff. Super. Yeah, <laughs> super, Superman, Super Hive. We're just super. Extraordinary. We're extraordinary. Some folks are ord and airy. We are extra ort and airy. We like to go above and beyond, but, you know, with the things we would like to do. Right. Whether it be strange things or... Or regular things, or strange regular things. But it all takes money. Anyway, um... Well, yeah, we're working on a lot of things. Um... And right now we're just coming up with uh, more ideas that we could uh, practically, you know, make into films or short films or music or whatever right. that we're uh, trying to come up with. One is uh, maybe a Star Fox short mm -hmm. because we were, I made a couple paper Star Fox masks like Falco and Fox right. and Leon. And another one was, it was sort of like Flesh Freak, it's called the, the Human Proboscis. Boscus. And that's really cool because it's like different, but it's kind of like the same thing. So you can imagine like Flesh Freak and the Human Proboscis are kind of like in the same area. They kind of both go around killing, well not really, the Human Proboscis kind of, his thing is he's got a big nose. And it's like, you know, that's what a proboscis is. It's a huge nose and it goes around sucking intelligence out of people and turning them into stone. Yeah, or paralyzing them. These are just ideas we're still we expanding haven't really, on. Yeah, we haven't got them down concretely, but we would love to see another creature of sorts, kind of like this, you know, weird nose monster going around sucking people's, not even their brains out, just their ideas out. Mm -hmm. And we'd love to suck some ideas out too, so if you want to come out and have a meeting with us and <laughs> and help us develop our ideas or, or just, just give us money. Send us your ideas on Facebook, Facebook. or on the website or yeah, whatever. Yeah, that works too. Um, and then we have another one way down the road. I don't even know if we should even talk about this one. Well, we'll, we'll save it for... Um, we'll save it. We'll save it for the next DVD, but it's... Uh, the clue is look at his hat. That is... That's the clue. And you're not going to even think guess. Think about the colors. The colors. The red and blue, and it has nothing to do with but cops, it, undercover police, no, nothing like that. Nothing like that, but it'll be great nonetheless. I don't know if you know already, but we're trying to start production on Flesh Freak 2 coming out next year. As yeah. well, mm -hmm. starting off where the last one left off, right? Like Secret Admire and everything. Right. As soon as um, you know, this kind of winter business goes away, and it's kind of like spring again, you know, we can get back out there. We can film some more. Uh, we'll do stuff like that, and of course, we need people involved in that. Of course, we need some money involved. Well, the the best way you can really help is just uh, volunteer your time right. and efforts, and just being. Like the best actors in Flesh Freak One were just the ones who came in with their with their own costume and were prepared right, like Chris to Mitchell. do a job. Yeah, Chris Mitchell was the one, the best actor. We he was worked the best. With. Well, besides besides Michael, us, besides us and Michael Flores and I'd Mike say. F. But he, like I give him ten gold stars yeah. out of twelve. He was great. A little bit of professionalism goes a, a long way. And he went a long, long way. <laughs> And so we need, we need like, maybe five or six more Chris Mitchells in our next movie. That's what we need. Not to say that the other people were bad, because they weren't. Because, um, you know, people like Mitch Lunafish, he did a good job, too. He came up with, a, like, a lot of those lines himself. Um, he helped us out. He picked up my slack. So I give him props for that. So he gets, like, nine and a half gold stars. <laughs> He's great. Yeah, everyone, <clears throat> everyone, that, everyone was uh, just a volunteer in Flesh Freak 1. Anyway, and, and we give them all props we for that. We thank they, you for they, your service. They, they did a good job, but in order to keep this whole project rolling, so to speak, we'll, you know, we just need to keep it up and keep doing all the good things we just did, pretty much. Right, and I'm so excited for Flesh Freak 2. And, you know, I don't want to sound like a money-hungry guy, because, you know, we're not. We just need more, you know, more talent, more volunteers, more collaboration, more sharing. That's what we really need more than money. 
but you know again money goes a long way too um so throw in your dollar throw in your buy these things hype up flush rate hype up super hive tell the we fans we just need more people to know about it more people to uh like to want to be involved with it and tell your kids tell your wife <laughs> if you have a husband tell him too Flesh Freak's coming for you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Tell grandma that lives in Florida. Tell the kid down the street. Tell uh, your teachers and your um, your mailman. Tell that person. And get in, get inspired and tell us your inspired vision. Yeah, tell us your inspired inspirations. Tell us your creations. And then help your us ideas. make it a reality because yeah. we can do That's it. That's what we do because we know what's good. All right. <laughs>